Hi everyone, welcome to How to Electronics. In one of my earlier videos, I explained about the mechanical anemometer from Adafruit. This anemometer was able to measure the wind speed which was successfully displayed on OLED display. Today's video is not about any type of mechanical anemometer. Rather, we will take a look at the ultrasonic anemometer from Renke. This anemometer does not have any moving parts. Rather, it uses ultrasonic principles to measure the wind speed as well as direction. In this tutorial, we will go through the design and specification of this ultrasonic anemometer sensor. The sensor is based on the RS485 protocol. Hence, we will use the MAX485 module to interface the sensor with the Arduino board. The anemometer will measure the wind speed and direction while placed in a windy zone. The speed and direction can be easily displayed on LCD display. I tested this anemometer for a long period of time and found out it is highly accurate and performs better than mechanical anemometer. So let's get started to find out more about this sensor. This video is sponsored by Altium 365. The Altium 365 is an electronics product design platform that unites PCB design, AMCAD, data management and teamwork. With Altium 365, you can do the PCB designing task. You can share your project over a way for review purposes. Interact with mechanical designer for mechanical design. It also provides centralized cloud storage. It helps you with components management as it has the fastest search engine. It can also allow your team to work together on a single product. Finally, you can send your design to a manufacturing unit. To get started with a free trial, check the first link in the description. Welcome back again. Let's see how the ultrasonic anemometer works. Ultrasonic anemometer uses ultrasonic wind measurement technology to measure wind speed in meters per second with low startup speed. Also, it can measure a full 360 degrees of wind direction. The ultrasonic time of flight principle is used to calculate the wind speed and direction. The opposing sets of transducers alternatively send and receive ultrasonic pulses to each other. In still air, these pulses transmit at the same speed. The wind speed affects the send receive patterns of the pulses. The pulses in the direction of air movement will reach the opposing transducers more rapidly, while the pulses into the wind will be delayed. The stronger the prevailing wind, the more prominent the effect will be. This is the ultrasonic anemometer from Renkir. This anemometer is an innovative device engineered for the precise outdoor measurement of wind speed and direction. It stands out for its compact design, absence of movable parts and high protection level, making it exceptionally durable and suitable for harsh environments. Internally, the anemometer uses low powered chips, giving its power consumption at an efficient 0.12 watt. Say this internal circuitry. The engineering involved in this is highly appreciable. The sensor operates at 10 to 30 volt DC power supply. It can measure the wind speed from 0 to 40 meters per second with a resolution of 0.01 meter per second. Similarly, it can measure wind direction from 0 to 360 degrees with a resolution of 1 degree. This product adopts the standard Modbus RTU485 communication protocol, which can directly read the current total solar radiation value. It's shown here. The output mode is RS485 with a 4 to 20 MA sensor response. It has four wires. VCC, GND, RS485A and RS485B.
To read the wind speed and direction value using this sensor, we need the following components. I have used Arduino Nanobot. Since the sensor output is RS485, we need a Modbus RTU module. This is the MAX485 module from Maxim Integrated that can be easily interfaced with the Modbus sensor and a microcontroller. To display the value, I have used a 16 cross 2 I square C LCD display. A breadboard is required as well for prototyping and assembly. Few jumper wires are needed for the connection. For supply power, you may use a 12 volt battery, a DC power adapter, or any other power supply. Here is the connection diagram for this project. All the connection between Arduino, Max485, and Anemometer are properly defined. I made the same connection in the breadboard as per the circuit diagram. To power the hardware, I used a 12 volt lead acid battery. Then I developed the sample code to read the center values. From the manufacturer datasheet, I got to know how to read the sensor value as well. The inquiry frame and the response is properly explained here. I will display the wind speed and direction values in serial monitor. I placed the sensor behind my house to check the wind speed. Then I uploaded the code to the Arduino Nanobot. After uploading the code, the serial monitor shows the wind speed and direction value is 0 initially. The wind is not blowing at all and the speed of air is very slow currently. I waited for some time and the wind speed was displayed in kilometers per hour and direction in degrees. Perfect job. Now I added 16 cross 2 I square C LCD to the project as I wanted to show the wind values on LCD instead of serial monitor. Then I made some modifications to the code. Finally uploaded the modified code again. So as you can see the LCD is displaying the wind values as expected. The wind speed value changes as per change in wind speed. And directional value remains the change are same. That's all from the video part today. You can purchase this sensor from Renkid's official website. More details on the sensor can be found here as well. The detailed documentation of the project has been published on our website howtoelectronics.com. You may go through all the details, specifications, working, schematics, coding, results and demonstration. In case you have any doubts, you can ask us questions in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching the video. See you in the next video.